The first season of ABC's TV series The Newsreader was not only award-winning entertainment. It was also a surprisingly accurate time capsule from a busy few months in Australian history. The first episode of second season arrived on the weekend, bringing news at six teams' adventures from 1986 to 1987. But will historical details be as accurate as contemporary hairstyles, costumes and accessories? Let's find out with another gentle history lesson garnished with friendly flaws playful pedantry, and minimal spoilers. Bob Hawke examines the bronze statue of his fellow politician John Mildren, just days after he was re-elected Prime Minister in 1987. Episode 1813 July 1987 The first episode focuses on 1987 federal election, which pitted incumbent Labour Party, led by Bob Hawke and Paul Keating against conflict between John Howard and Andrew Peacock of Liberal Party. Results presented accurately. Some rocking chairs, including Chisholm, are mentioned in particular. Some of Howard and Keating's comments about economic vandals Banana Republic's true. But we're going to put a checkmark on that. It's also worth naming Pat Cash as Australia's most famous athlete. As musical note, a talk show host's cover of I Knew You Were Waiting fits this. George Michael and Aretha Franklin debut duet in January and spend four weeks topping the Australian charts. In March and April, the participation of talk show host Tony Bartuccio dancers is also notable, as the group was a regular fixture on Australian television in 80s. One character promises take the other sizzler. But that was highly unlikely unless they were planning fly from Melbourne, Adelaide, Sydney, or Brisbane. According to the Australian Financial Review circa 1992, Sizzler did not open in Victoria until May 1989. Seven people, including one on a motorcycle, were killed in the Hodel Street. Episode 2912, August 1987. This episode focuses on the Hodel Street and does a great job including accurately establishing the fact that six people were initially reported to have, and a seventh death was later confirmed. It is also revealed that types of weapons used were correct and that the fired at helicopters. Involved in his arrest the episode also touches on discussion of violence in film and television. Following, he points out that Sylvester Stallone has been featured on movie posters with machine guns and that Arnold Schwarzenegger old Predator will hit theatres following week. Greg Chappelle is said to be director of Australian Cricket Board and that happened in 1987 good. Folks at Cricket Australia can confirm that he was at board meeting in December 1987. But they couldn't find exact dates so we'll have to give this a shot. Mentioning Ernie Dingo as a high-profile domestic celebrity is a little premature. Dingo appeared in a few films and TV shows until August 1987, but mostly appeared in small roles or minor productions. She was still a year away from her lead role in Crocodile Dundee 2.